Hi, I'm JD, and with a quarter and a dollar, I want to show you the relationship between fractions, decimals, and percentages, and how to convert them, and vice versa. So, first let's start by considering what would this look like as a fraction? Well, say it out loud, it's a, yeah, that's right, it's a quarter, right? A quarter, and you have a dollar. How many quarters go into a dollar? Four. So there's four quarters. And this is how many quarters? One quarter. Now, what is a quarter as a decimal? That's right, it's 25 cents. In dollars, that would be what? Yeah, 0 0.25. Or 25 hundredths. Now, what percentage is that? What percentage is 20, let's say this, is, this dollar is 100%, right? And this would be how much of that? Yeah, 25%. All right, so a couple things that we can learn from this. One is that we can learn, okay, a fraction, these, all of these are equal to each other, right? I didn't you know, manipulate the quarter and it went from a fourth and now it's 25 cents by some magic. It is that. One fourth is, a, well, a quarter is 25 cents. And 25% of that dollar is a quarter. So I didn't change anything. So these are all equal to each other. Now, Another thing you want to keep in mind, how can you get from a fraction to a decimal? I know what the answer is, but how can I get from here to here? Well, what is a fraction? A fraction is a division sign, right? So since it's a division sign, it's 1 divided by 4. So you're asking yourself the question, how many times does 4 go into 1, right? How many times does this, do these quarters go into a dollar, right? That's what you're asking. And the answer when you do it all out, when you do the long division, is going to be 25 cents or 0.25. Now, a percentage, to get from a decimal to a percentage, all you have to do is move the decimal place. That's what happened here. So 0 0.25, the decimal place moved over twice. Right? Because it's out of how much? It's out of a hundred. Right? How many cents makes up this dollar? A hundred cents or 100%. Now I'm confusing myself. But what you're doing is you're multiplying this by 100 to get this. Now let's say that you have a decimal. And that decimal is 0 0.25. Alright, how can I convert that to a fraction? Oh yeah, I know it's, it's a quarter, right? But how can I convert this to a fraction. Okay, well, how do I say this? Not 25 cents, but how would you say this, you know, mathematical terms, we would say. 25 hundredths. So guess how you convert this to a fraction? You just put it over a hundred. Right? That's 25 hundredths. 
So since it's that, then you can just simplify. What goes into both 25 and 100? A quarter. 25. So 25 goes into 25 once, and then 25 goes into 100 four times. Now, how do I convert a decimal, 0.25, to a percentage? Well, I did it up here. I just simply moved this way. Right? Now, if I was going the other direction, you have 25%. You do the opposite that you did over here. Instead of moving in this direction, you're going to move it the opposite direction. Because instead of multiplying by 100, you're going to divide it by 100. And that's the relationship between fractions, decimals, and percentages.